Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Steps Basic, and welcome back to Let's Play Thimbleweed Park. So, fun game here. Enjoying myself, but I'm falling into the same trap as I do with a lot of adventure games. And that is, in particular, that I keep getting stuck on Minutia, which sucks. Um, but of course, as it stands, I have figured out a number of things, including how to get the darn will read. Wait, why do I have a shirt again? Oh, right, the Velotronics t-shirt. Uh, so right now, I think I need this stupid uh, joke book page. Almost got the page. Almost got the... Get Not while I'm jumping. Got it. <laughs> That's what it was. I was wondering about that. Because I did actually look that up, too, because I couldn't figure out why I couldn't catch that page. Got but the then page stuck back into the joke book. I realized I had to actually interact with it okay i'm honestly not entirely sure what uh this is gonna accomplish but i want to be the best ransom there is also had an idea about this guy because he's hungry and there's a diner in town maybe i can get him something ready to face my adoring public and win this contest already we, we got this bro why is the dragon coming? Thank you all for coming to witness ah. the Ransom Lookalike Contest. MC. We've got a great crowd here tonight. What is he, blind? We got that kid. Ugh, stinks in here. Guess, well, it looks like we've got some great entries and some not so great entries. But I'll be the judge of that. Sure That's you will. Right. I'll be judging the contestants as they try to make us laugh. Oh, First marvelous. up, we have Corey. Which one? Which one's Corey? Oh. Oh, I get to make the choices for him. Ooh, that's some <laughs> tape you've got on there, kid. I bet your mom made it with love. I hope there's a Batman lookalike contest for you soon. You definitely win. <laughs> so convincing. You've gotta be kidding. You do that know who Ransom is. Insult. It was a crappy compliment. You do know who Ransom is, don't you? Oh, there we go. This looks like an insult. I don't like hats. Is that the only fact you know about me? Who are you? Why do I bother? I know, right? Oh, boy. You're all poo-poo heads. Just like Winnie the Pooh, you're sweet as a honey pot. No way. Get out of here. Boo. Boo. Uh, let's see. There we go. I was amazed you aren't a bunch of fatsos. Fatso? That's an incredibly hurtful and vulgar word to use. Of course it's it is. It's not something that any decent people say in public. Ah, uh, here we you go. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Yep. The pillow factory closed down ten years ago. A little Get dated. Off stage. There we go. You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. <laughs> the sheriff, coroner, and hotel manager are all distinct people and awesome in their own right. You no, should they're be not. thanking them for keeping the town running. Bunch of ingrates. <laughs> wow. Sounds like someone has to update their jokes. Now we have our final contestant, Corey. <coughs> All right, Corey. Who are you? Wasn't Chuck the best human? Don't you think? Yes, and no. where's the punchline? Punchline? What are you talking about? I clicked the wrong button. I meant to say bloop, bloop, and bleep, bloop. Bloop, bloop, and bleep, bloop. It's beep for sake, not bloop. Don't be mean. You're at a ransom contest. Of course he's going to be mean. Oh, God. You're all silly billies, but <laughs> you're still lovable. Oh, kill me now. Do they even know who ransom is? This won't take long to decide the winner. In first place is 
obviously. Ransom. Corey. Oh my! Thank you. Fixed. Corey wins a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. I'm going to make a cute fuzzy dog. But you could just walk into any toy store and buy that already. Second place is Corey. Of course it well is. Totally rigged. Oh. How can anyone compete with Corey? Rigged. It's a pleasure to come second to his first. How does it feel like won a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. Oh no. How exciting. Just like my hero, Michael Jackson. Which leaves oh. third and last place to What was your name anyway? It's Ransom, you idiot. Oh, your name is Ransom too? That's an odd coincidence. It's not a Pity coincidence. Maybe your act wasn't very convincing. Oh my god. Uh, uh. So third place goes to the poorly named Ransom. You win an easy listening theremin record by Psykin. Well, that's useful. Congratulations to those who put some effort in. Ah, uh, go beep yourselves. You beeping beepers. Good lord. Rigged. Fixed. Fixed. Rigged. I got cheated. Who's fake dust? Ah. I have an idea of what I need to do now. First of all, Ransom, use your map and go to the radio tower. And then climb up the radio tower. I forgot something. Oh, let's get the clown to climb the ladder. The circus freak will climb the ladder. Will he now? For making me do this. Sorry. I'm going to have to make you do it again. Stupid ladder. Agreed. All right. For making me do this. Sorry. 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 You're going to hate me. <laughs> All right. Reyes. Yeah, last time we saw him, he was on a friggin'. He was on the slab here. Ah, uh, but, oh well. I guess he's better now. He recovered quickly. Alright. To the radio station. To Ransom. Give. This is that puzzle I was trying to figure out earlier. You take this for a while. This is the puzzle I was trying to figure out earlier. Well, I kind of figured it out, but didn't know what I was supposed to do. For making me do this. You're welcome. All right, so switch to do do head. We interrupt our hostile takeover nonstop music with this important message. Hi. Wake up, people! The government is stealing your right to free will. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Wake up, sheeple! All right, now switch back to ransom. Flip it, y'all. What the hell is this? It's looks it's, complicated. It's switch. Just just use it. Yeah, uh, serves him right for that radio show. Now I better get out of here fast. Yeah, dude. Oh, no, we're, we're off the air again? Yeah. Bye, lady. All right. Reyes. It's a turntable. I said walk to it. There's a... Re what a big lever. For Christ's sake, use this there. There's a record on top of the turntable. It's a turntable. Will you go in there already? It's a turntable. What a big lever. I've seen bigger. There we go. What a climb. You did it, though. Good job, young lady. So proud of you. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Uh... I don't know what I'm here for. Get out of here. <gasps> I had an idea. Oh, I have an idea. Uh, where's Dolores at? She's still at the. Okay, use. Ugh, what is that awful noise? So the we have. A, must be trying to brainwash me. We have a very limited time in which we can use this. Okay. How did this get here? Okay, all back to normal again. Okay, that's good to know. 
So we need to get his tools first. Oh. Oh, go back. Hi. Pizza meeting. Pizza, pizza. You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. Sure. What's the deal with the pizza coupon? You want a free pizza coupon? Sure. Wink, wink. Okay, but what do I get with it? <laughs> um, a coupon? A free pizza? <sighs> do we know each other? Wait a second. You look familiar. I am familiar. <laughs> Weren't we in freshman chem class together? What's your name? Dolores. Dolores. I know who you are. You're Dolores Edmund. You and your Uncle Chuck were working on mind control, Ray, to remove our free will before he died. Uh, no? What? What? <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. I know you put bugs in our pillows. You'll never take me alive! Run, Pizza Man, run! What the heck was that about? Looks like a pizza flyer. I can tell what it looks like. Pick it up so we can look at it. Don't drop by our secret meeting. Don't touch the electric fence code 397227. I might need that. $20. All you can eat. Free movie drawn movie rental. Ooh. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? You know, good. It's not too bad. Long hours, low pay, boss is a jerk. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? No. Shut up, Dave. Look, <laughs> writing out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. I know he, he was. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway. Anyway. I would like to order some food, please. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Uh, I'll have a hamburger. I'll have a hamburger. See, sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers till they're gone. Uh, how about I'd I like have... to order some food. Oh, sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Let me take a hot dog. I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. I'm, I'm sorry. This hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh... Gotta go. Uh, sorry, Dolores. Ew. It was kind of funny, though. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking. Swivels. <sighs> I feel better now. Well. Alright. Alright, is it Chris? Hot dogs, burgers, salad, pie, Schweinhaxe. That's about it. Schweinhaxe. What can I do for you, honey? I would like to order I'd some like food. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? You can take ready for I'm that hamburger. ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready. Been saving one here in the grill pocket just in case. Oh, boy. Here you go, hon. Thanks. Now, time to go back to... The hotel. Oh, Riker. Oh, sexy Riker. I have brought you that delicious meal. After that hot dog, I don't want to eat anything from that diner ever again. We're not eating it. We're giving it to sexy Riker. Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I... Uh, uh. I have to go to my room. What? 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 Teeny tiny.
tiny spaceships in bottles. Shut up in there! Everyone knows it's proven beyond all possible doubt that there are nine planets in the solar system. The elevator is still moving. Ugh. Ugh. Not again. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. It's locked. Not again. Oh, that's better. Now to get back to work. Sorry, sexy Riker. Didn't mean to get you sick. Bye, buddy. It's locked. I know a way around locked doors. Ghosty goo time. The, ele the elevator isn't on this floor. It's a button to call the elevator. Just call the elevator. Don't tell me what it is. Seven. Sure, zap that button without telling me what it is. Psh. I'm doing this quite dishonestly here. I should just go down and ask him for it because I, I fulfilled my end of the bargain. Yes, it's toilet paper. Also, the lid of a toilet. Things don't get more amazing than that. I love you, dude. Actually, let me borrow this. Uh, bank? Did I write down the number for the bank? Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you. Yes. All right, I'm stealing those. But first, let's set up the greatest heist of all time. Dolores. Safely first savings. Okay. Safely first time. 5277. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, close that out. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? I'd like to open an account. I don't believe you. Please stop wasting my time. Now, goodbye. Dang it. All right. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? Uh, I'm your friendly, obscene caller. Yes, I'm your friendly, obscene caller. No, you're not. The obscene caller makes a lot of filthy noises and moaning sounds. Now, goodbye. Hello, Safely First Savings. Hey. Your money is in our hands. It's me again. Is anyone there? Order two pizzas. I'd like to order two pizzas to go. I think you have the wrong number. <laughs> this is a bank. Now, goodbye. Ah. <sighs> it doesn't give me the option to make grunting noises. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? Oh, sorry. Wrong number. You're wasting my Maybe time. Maybe I should try the obscene now, caller one again, just in case. Bye. Just in case that's how I'm supposed to do it. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? Yes, I'm your friendly obscene caller. No, you're not. The obscene caller makes a lot of filthy noises and moaning sounds. Now, goodbye. Huh. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 Franklin. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. 
Is anyone there? Uh... Well... Is that you again? Mo. It sounds like you, but I'm not sure. Blow. <laughs> I'm almost certain you're the same obscene color as before. Mo. It is you. That's right. Keep it your moaning. I'll get you. I'll get you. Keep talking. I've almost traced you. <laughs> Why do you think you can waste my time like this? And just for good measure. Keep talking. I've almost traced you. Rattle, rattle, chains, chains. Enough pranking for today, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mad genius. I figured it out. What was I working on before that? Oh, the tools. Right. Oh, sorry. Not you. Hey, you can go in there too. Hey, buddy. All right. So for this, we need Ray. Hey, clown face. At the radio station. We need Ransom on the radio tower. Ray, go inside. No, in, inside, stupid. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music. Shot it. One more time into the breach there, Ransom. All right, one second. I forgot to do one thing. I'm going to leave you up there for a second. Here you go. Use. Give. Willie, here are the tools you wanted. Oh, thanks. Nice tools. We've made it, everybody. We're Be all careful. Here. here. It's a padlock and chain, keeping the gate closed. You don't say. The key fits. <gasps> Wear it. All right. We have a time clock. It's locked, and there's no handle. What else could be here? There's a lot of open windows, though. I don't think we need to worry about a locked door. Yes. That's exactly what I was looking for. Jesus Christ. Pillowtronics. The mechanized pillow factory of the future. Established 1954. Cool. I remember this happy pillow guy. In fact, Uncle Chuck gave me a pillow that looked just like this. He's a little creepy, Gave though. me freaking nightmares. Agreed. Push button? When those security lights are all green, the door can be unlocked. Got another time clock over here. Looks like end of the line. 505. It's a Dortron 3000, but it's missing its tube. What does it need? It's a tube socket for Uncle Chuck's secret PF001 Tron tube. Hey. Wait, it's a TX1138 tube. And it looks... It's a tube socket for Uncle Chuck's secret PF001 Tron tube. Wait, I've seen a picture of one of these somewhere. Oh, the safe. In his office, maybe. He's a lag on his head. I don't know what that is. Ugh. Yes. Yes, yes. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's a heavy duty restraining strap and bolt and needs a wrench to loosen it. <gasps> I have one of those. Just out of curiosity. I don't know what I'm doing. Not leaving Dad's watch behind. Yeah, I wouldn't. I do that need either. to find the correct time to set it to. 
use wrench on. Yes. It's an old discharged battery. It appears to be the on-off lever for this electric truck. It it's now in the off position. It looks like the battery is dead. Okay. Nice. All right. I don't know what I'm going to have to do with that, but... I mean, I'm obviously going to have to charge the battery, but... I don't know what I'm going to do with the truck when I've done it. <gasps> Back of dust. Ah, just your everyday glowing radioactive waste. You want a battery? It doesn't work with that. Pick up the waste? I'm not touching that slime with my bare hands. Do I have anything that I can carry waste in? <gasps> There's an open door. I hear that's what love is. Ah, that's what I figured. Gonna have to go start up all four of those uh, lights. Oh, look at Baby Reyes. I was cute as a kid. I miss Dad. There's his watch in the photo. Because it would be nice to have this photo of my family. I'll leave it here as evidence until after we're all done. It's a piece of paper with years of filth. <gasps> I have a can of trademark, not trademark, infringing poopsie. Speck of dust. Dolores. I've been collecting dust pixels for years. You're weird. I love it. Anyway, Dolores. Uh, use poopsie on me. I don't want to waste it on that. Drink it. How do I? How do I drink the the, the poopsie? Open, open the poopsie. I don't feel like the taste for non-trademark infringing poopsie now. Give it to to. Race. I better hold on to this. Why? <gasps> the truck is in the way of the the. Oh, okay, now I know what I need. To when get those the security lights Shut are up. all green, Shut the up. door can. Dig in. Hey, dig. How goes the dug? <gasps> speck of dust. There's more specks of dust in the world now. Yes. It's a defunct robot prototype. It's a strange device with a red button. I'd have to pick it up first. Pick up the strange device. It says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. That, mm -hmm. It's Uncle Chuck's custom built multi band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Know it. Speck of dust. Speck of dust. <laughs> Speck of dust. Never know when I need a shovel. It says, "Need help playing Thimbleweed Park?" Call. You know, I haven't tried this yet, so I want to try it just just for the heck of it. And also, I'm a little bit stumped, but um. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. All right, so four four six eight. Welcome to the fully automated Hintron 3000 system. Uh -huh. We aim to make your experience playing Thimbleweed Park easier. Uh -huh. If you're ever stuck on a puzzle or don't know what to do, phone us. The hints here will change depending on which part you are currently playing. Makes sense. If you can find a hint you're looking for, it's because you don't need to solve it right now. Gotcha. You can always just hang up when you're done. My feelings won't be hurt much. How can I help you? Interesting. Okay. Uh, I need a hint. Something about getting into the factory, something else. How can I charge a battery? Although Franklin is good with electricity, he won't be able to help you out in this case. I know that. You need to find some place with a strong electrical current. You haven't found the location yet, so consider waiting until later and doing other things first. Okay, that's good to know, actually. You haven't found the location yet, but you can get to it from the forest trailhead. Interesting. The factory's all I'm at right now, isn't it? You need to find where everyone is going in the forest. 
I know I need radioactive waste, but I don't know how to get it. That's useful. You need a special container for the radioactive waste to move it. Duh. There's one specific container which is made of impressive sounding metals. You don't have this container yet. Keep looking for something. Gotcha. I'll keep an eye out. Dolores has a lot of strange things in her room. Perhaps something there will work. Thank you. Goodbye. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. Mm -hmm. That sounds impressive. Okay, okay. Rad moon tonight. It's now filled to the brim with radioactive waste. Hey, I'm just damn. This trophy means a lot to me, so take good care of it, please. I need to find out the clock that will tell me what the time is. Part of me thinks it's gonna be something silly, like, uh... <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Twelve and three, so three. Nice photo. Well, we can try it. All right, I meant to, uh, yeah, we can put this here. Oh, 7.15, okay. That makes sense, actually. I accidentally brute forced it. I think I know what I'm doing. It's gonna be increments of five, okay. So one was 705, so two will be 710, three was 715, and then four will be 720. Yes. And four is behind the freaking truck. Apparently I need to go through the, the forest to get to the truck. I'm gonna need this. What am I gonna need this for? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Better not contaminate the water while someone's watching. Speck of dust. How did I miss that? Sometimes it just works. Actually, no, we'll leave you here. Nice. Electrified fence. Yeah! Oh, I'm so sorry. But hey, it's charged. What was the code again? Three nine seven two two seven. Okay. 
<laughs> this is actually one of the few times I'm leaving this game feeling like I accomplished a whole lot. Um, and uh, I'm kind of excited about that. But I have to end this game because it's already been an hour and I still have stuff I have to do. But anyway... I'm excited for next episode. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Thimble Wheat Park. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go and poke that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And I bet you as soon as I can, when I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time as we see what this is all about. And until then, good night.